How are you going there guys? Welcome to this video of mine, another exercise in gem cutting. And today we have an elongated piece of stone cut in the fashion of a small brick. So I'll be cutting a rectangular baguette type of gem. So this is from Mozambique, this piece of stone in very light yellow colour, looking quite dusty from the preform grind. Now i have already aware that Cutting such stones are incredibly difficult and one of the reasons why I'm cutting this stone is because look I could be cutting easy stuff for years like some people but I want to move on and I'm not too scared to make mistakes or even destroy the stone. I mean it's, it's this stone is less than ten dollars um, so what can I lose ten dollars I guess in a raw stone but um, having said that I'd still like it to come out nice and looking good. So, with this stone here, um, I've read that there are going to be issues. Many cutters have problems with this axis here, cutting the step. So it's got to be deadly accurate and the problem arises with the rotation of the disc on the fastening machine and uh, how accurate you are as a cutter. So this is all very new to me. But we'll see what happens. Now, I've got the stone ready to be epoxied. Do not be scared to use a pair of these, you just set just set the calipers to the outside of stone from the top and then check the inside so everything's nice and you can do it on the width and all sorts of ways. So I've got that all centred up and it's I'll get it glued up and we'll move on with the next stage of cutting a baguette style stone in the step cut. So uh, we've begun with the baguette cut, we've got the protractor set at 51 degrees um, and I'm thinking of hot wiring this micro adjustment to a voltmeter um, so, or maybe a light so when it goes beyond the 51 degrees or whatever setting uh, but I don't know the cut so either the light will switch on or off. Uh, once again I've had to reconfigure all these design angles on this chart and uh, this simply is not going to work these angles for my uh, index wheel so it's not too hard to configure these angles so I'm actually cutting a 51 degrees index wheel set to 64 and 32 so currently got it on 32 and then I'll readjust to 64 so yeah this will take a while this stone because I've got a lot to cut off it I need to get a 100 diamond grit wheel and uh, that would really tear into it but I'm in no rush using a 250 grit wheel at the moment which is good because you actually get a quite a good finish on the stone so I don't have to really go down too far except to a 1200 uh, anyway on to the next step later on so just give you a look at the little machine my setup nice view out the window in the garden so it's a beautiful setup uh, I've got my light on beautiful I mean I can sit here in peace I even have a beer on the side if you <laughs> so I'll let you know what's happening when I get to the next step so I've cut the pavilion done a pre-polish and I think I've got a pretty good line for the girdle so I'm really happy about that and uh, next phase will be the polish and that concerns me because there are some very big facets on this stone so um, this will take a little bit of work on these side facets here because they're over an inch in length and uh, that will take some doing yeah the bigger the, the facet the harder it will get anyways um, on to the polish tomorrow and I'll see if I can get that done if not it might take a few few nights so I'll just uh, just film the next step when I get to it the entire pavilion has been polished and pretty happy with the result because it can be difficult to polish large facets and these are well over two centimeters and that would take some doing and it did surprisingly enough it was probably I don't know, an hour and a half work all up to do this which is not bad compared to some stones so I need to flip this over and 
create the crown and the table and polish that and hopefully I can get the girdle right because polishing the girdle won't be easy either. On to the next step. Stone is in the transfer block all ready to be epoxied and later on I'll cut the other end off the top. This end over here and we'll start cutting the crown. So the stone is complete, a beautiful citrine from Mozambique in the form of a rectangular step cut. Um, not easy to do but turned out really good. Managed to get the alignment of the girdle really well done. Very happy with the facets on the back and with the larger facets on the front. So this concludes the cut of the 16.5 carat citrine from Mozambique and I'm not sure what my next cut will be I'm considering maybe doing a, um, a cut that will be totally my own design um, even though I had to rectify some of the angles on this one the next one uh, hopefully might be totally unique I'm still thinking about it anyway take care everybody and I'll see you later bye